What's up guys? So, friend of mine hit me up. He's going to the Reno Air Races here coming up this month. I don't know the date, don't ask me. Don't have the time. So I'd rather not look at it. But uh, anyways, so he wanted to get spruced up. Um, they're gonna display it. It's a Beechcraft Debonair. I'm always wary of aircraft. New, brand new, uh, new paint job, doesn't matter what. There's always something, like I can always find, not just a handful, like a lot of problems. So, uh, yeah, just dug into it, got here, got it cleaned up, uh, started inspecting it with the light, and just found sand marks, pigtails, uh you name it everything all over um holograms and uh so obviously uh the paint was still super glossy except for all the sandpaper marks um and some of the pigtails that were left behind so yeah um i always enjoy when you know this thing took uh was a full restoration so when they are coming to me and they're actually like entrusting me to fix everything and make it look shiny and put a buffer to it I kind of feel mm, pretty stoked I, I feel special that they trust me to uh, get these things looking good so you can take a look at some of the stuff that we did so here you can see just the gloss is amazing um, and uh, yeah, so first thing we did, we washed it, um, assessed the paint, went ahead and start fixing all the problem areas first. Then, then once those all the problem areas were fixed, we had you know consistent paint. Uh, we went ahead and gave it a polish over the whole aircraft. Then removed all the oil the oils from from the polishes and whatnot compounds that we used. And then after that, we did, um, what did we do? We used Ceramic Pro Primer. Uh, we applied that with a foam pad all the way around the aircraft, top, bottom, bottoms of wings, tops of wings, all over. Uh, after that, we did Ceramic Pro Bravo. We applied one coat of that. Um, and then the next day, today, we came back and applied Ceramic Pro top coat. So it definitely does make a difference. Adding that top coat, the gloss and the hydrophobic properties are just wicked. So yeah, we're just here, San Diego, California, Southern California, wrapping up this detail on this Beechcraft Debonair. And uh, it'll be headed to the Reno Air Races here in next couple days, next week or so. So be sure to check it out. It's got a beautiful red metallic on the top side. And this looks white, but it's actually a gray. I don't remember what gray it is, uh, but it actually is not white. I was like, oh yeah, Matterhorn white. Not the case. It's actually, actually white. So yeah, I had a good time, enjoyed restoring this aircraft uh, cosmetically, right? Um, I went through a year and a half restoration, full restoration. I hope you guys enjoy the gloss. I hope you guys enjoy this, this, uh, this aircraft. And if you guys see it, let me know, uh, at the Reno air races. Um, love to hear your feedback on how it looks. Um, man, everything is coated on this thing. It's going to clean up a lot easier, uh, including the belly. Um, we just did not stop it at anything on this one. So 
yeah, we're super stoked on it and uh, stay tuned for our next video. All right, guys, see you.